What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub. Smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Sorry. This is a, a free general collective reading for all signs. Um, Caps are to everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Pro. Buy the links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I received another channeling in. I did the daily tea this morning, but I received another one in. Um, I'm going to, I already went walking one time this morning, but I'm going to go again because it's such a nice day. And um, I'm a little bored, to be honest. So I might as well go out and go walking. I only went like a mile, mile and a half this morning. So I'll probably do a good walk this time. So just saying, just saying. <sighs> All right, I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so um, I just want to say before I deliver this one, we have I have been picking up a lot of toxic family energy in here recently, a lot. And this is regarding a toxic family that has basically lied on a light side family member in the past. Um, I'll explain it in a second. Oh, I wish you could see them. He's being so sweet to him. They do that a lot, though. He's such a, he's always been his daddy. They're, they're two male cats, and he's always been his daddy. It's so sweet. Okay, so, um, anyway, so the channel message I received was, um, it, it's more like a spiritual warning. So, of course, you only, excuse me, you only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? But, as always, but, um, Whoever this is for, it's your toxic family member, um, member or members. Um, I heard member, but for some, I feel like it could be two or two plus. I did hear member, though, so singular. Um, I heard they want to come back because they want to come back to you, I heard, because they are under heavy pressure now because um, they lied on you so bad in the past. Um, I heard and did heinous abusive tactics to you in the past um so they lied on you so defamation of character if it was in a public setting lied and slandered you so bad in the past and i heard did abusive tactics to you so whatever the abusive tactics were in the past um so badly in the past but now they are under heavy fire because um in one of these situations they said you were a heavy drug addict but now um your community um, knows you're not a drug addict and many others know you're not a drug addict so now they're under very 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 heavy pressure um, and fire so the toxic family member wants to come back and set you up basically they want to prove you're a drug addict because they are under heavy pressure and fire because they said you were in the past and they did abusive tactics to you in the past I think to try to drive you mentally insane so you would become a drug addict because the, that what you don't know if this resonates for you i feel the reason they were doing all these abusive tactics or tactics to you in the past is because behind the scenes from you they were gossiping and slandering and def defaming your character so bad to others saying claiming you were a drug addict and other abusive tactics that basically now they have to eat their words because you're not I heard clearly from the spiritual universe, you're not a drug addict. So whoever you are, you, you're not. And never have been. And never have been. So whoever this is for, you've never been a drug addict and never have been. But behind the scenes, for years, for years is what I've just heard. For years, for years, they were saying that you are. You are. And basically, now they have to eat their words. And they don't want to have to eat their words. Because whoever these people are I feel they're very narcissistic whoever your toxic family member or members are they're very narciss narcissistic they don't want to admit they're when they're wrong they they're in denial so they would rather come back and try to set you up and prove you're a drug addict than admit they're wrong which is very narcissistic 
very narcissistic. They do not want the blessings coming to you, but through many shocking series of chain of events, it's about to happen, and it's about to happen whether they want it to or not. Stay away from these family members. Okay, I heard they do not want the blessings that are going to come to you. Um, um, very clearly, I heard from the spiritual universe, stay away from your toxic family members. Stay away, and that was loud. Stay away from your toxic family members. Basically, keep doing you. Keep growing, manifesting, building yourself. Obviously, I heard you've never been an addict. You never have been. And I just want to make this clear as a disclaimer on here. I'm not downing anybody that has been an addict before. Not drugs or alcohol or what have you. Or any kind of addict. Because there's many types of addicts. Many. Um, I'm not. I feel that this is drugs because I heard drugs in here earlier. This is specifically drug addict. Uh, not alcoholism or gambling or sex or what have you what have you this is drugs but um but there's many types of addictions is what i'm saying i'm not downing addicts and um addicts i do not down addicts i actually respect former addicts ones that can remain clean and can um basically reform themselves and become a teacher and a leader to others to help transform and change their lives i actually respect former addicts a lot if they can stay clean and live a straight life to be able to transform and change and grow other people's lives. I can't sit on this platform and ever say I've been an addict, alcohol or drugs or gambling or anything like that, because I never have been. But I know there's many people that have. But it's changing your life and growing and manifesting yourself to where you can improve and change, help change other people's lives. Um, and I'm serious about that. So I just want to make that clear. Just because I've never been a drug addict, an alcohol addict, a gambler, or anything like that, doesn't mean I don't respect former addicts that can positively grow and transform their life. I just, I, I want to make that clear, okay? But we're talking about drugs in here. This is a drug. A, they were saying you were druggy. But now, basically, they're about to have to eat their words. I heard you're about to become very blessed, whether they want you to or not. But it's very, the spiritual download in this is basically, it's very important to stay away from your toxic family because at least one of them wants to come back and set you up. Meaning they would rather come and prove you're a drug addict by act of force or either, some kind of setup energy. So I'm feeling that could be through poisoning or that could be through a physical altercation, an injection. Um, or what have, I didn't hear how they were going to do it. But them coming back and setting you up with drugs is very significant. So I think of poisoning. Um, so food and drinks or implanting something or injecting something in something or what have you, what have you. Or spiking your medicines um, if you take medications or, um, or secretly poisoning you over time, like cyanide or, um, what's the other one, cyanide or, um, um, there's another, um, there's another one, I can't remember it, um, um, or what have you, what have you, um, or, um, you know, injecting you with some drug in your sleep or something, or roofing you or something, but, the spiritual download is very clear in this. It's basically stay away from your family because it's going to happen. Like some kind of shocking series of chain events are about to occur in the universe soon. Some kind of huge blessings are about to happen to you. But it is important to stay away from this toxic family. Now, only you know if you resonate with this, not anybody else. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you... Plug yourself in where you fit, but this is for at least one person out there. Um, this is very important because I feel nervous energy here with these this toxic family members or a member of members, at least one family member. I feel nervousness. I feel um, spite. I feel maliciousness. I feel um, envy. Um, I feel hatred. I mean. And honestly, you would have to have a lot of hatred for somebody to rather admit you're wrong and admit you lied on this person for years than admit you're wrong and want to come set them up. 
that takes a lot of hatred in one's heart, a lot. And I'm serious. Um, let go, let go and let, uh, what is it? Um, what's that saying? Um, let go and let God, just let go and let God. Um, this person doesn't believe in let go and let God. They believe in keeping up the line, keeping up the facade and keeping up the facade and keeping up the facade. But the problem is the facade's been busted in this situation. It has been busted. It's been busted open. Um, so now for you, light side individual that has, I feel you have, free willingly estranged yourself from this toxic family, but you have for strategic reasons because you know how they are, is what I'm feeling. So now it's important for you to do not allow them back. Do not engage. Of course, you can listen to the spiritual downloads or not, but that is what I'm picking up. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is so important for at least one person out there. I, I really hope Somebody gets this in time um, because I don't know when this toxic family member or for some members might be in route. I don't know. I'll see if I hear that. But it's very important to keep yourself estranged because something very positive is about to happen to you. Uh, for some, I feel it to be two or two plus things. But it is so important for you to stay away from these people um, because, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling serious, shiesty energy. I mean, set up energy. I mean, they have got dug themselves, not literal, physical digging, but metaphorical dug themselves such a hole for so many years on you that basically it's coming back and biting them in the ass. So I feel they are under heavy pressure because they know what they've been saying about you, all the gossip and slander for years. So now they have to prove it, put their mouth where their money, where their mouth is. But you have estranged yourself from them. So... I just hope somebody gets this in time, okay? <clears throat> Let me see if I hear anything else. For one, you're going to be asked to take a drug a drug screening soon. For one, you're going to free willingly free willingly take a drug screening soon. No problems. But stay away from this toxic family. For one, you're going to be asked to take it. And this is going to go very, very, very positive for you because you have nothing to hide. Okay, so for there's at least two of you guys. So for one, you're going to be asked to take a drug screening soon. So somebody's going to come to you and ask you to take a drug screening soon. I heard no problems. For one, you're going to free willingly decide to take a drug screening soon. I heard um, you're going to do it, no problems. So whoever you are, I heard you have nothing to hide. So you don't do drugs. I heard you never have. You don't even have a history of drug use, for goodness sakes. So um, there's nothing to hide. Whether you or somebody comes to you and asks you to take a drug screening, or um, you free willingly take a drug screening. Now, the number two, free willingly take a drug screening, I think this is for employment, is what I think. I think this is for employment. Um, because there's really, in my life experience, I'm 39 year old woman. Of course, I can only speak on my life experience, not anybody else. But the only time I've ever taken a drug screening ever in my life has been through employment. Um, now I know child protective services, they have the right to administer drug, administer drug screenings. I know they do. Um, and I've had many child protective service calls on me in the past, but I've, and I've offered to take drug, drug screenings with them many times. But every time they've told me no, um, every time, I mean, I've offered, um, no, I take that back. The very first time I had the child protective service visit on me, of course, this was many years ago. They, they said I need to take one. And I, and so I agreed that day I was going to come that day to take it, but then they told me, no, I don't have to worry about it. So they did the very first time that was many, many, many years ago. But after that, I knew that child protective services would, um, they would probably offer, um, probably ask. So every time I got um, calls on me about it, I would just go ahead and say, well, do you need a drug screening? And they'd be like, no. 
So I know Child Protective Services does drug screening. I know they do from experience. Um, but what I'm saying is they're free willing drug screening. The one, one you're going to be asked to take a drug screening, I think that could be child uh, through Child Protective Services or a governmental agency or... Uh, or, oh, this could be color code, color code too, with like a probation officer or something of that nature. Um, any reason you're about to be asked to take a drug screening, um, I should say. But the number two, where you're going to free willingly take a drug screening, I think that's through employment is what I'm trying to say. I think that's through a job that you are about to apply for or you already have applied for or, um, or something of that nature. Um, I can't think of any other reason why you would free willingly take a drug screening. Um, so I definitely think this is employment. Um, but how that resonates, I heard it's going to be no problems. Both of them, no problems, because you don't even have a history. Well, if you have no history of drug use, you probably won't be in a color code pro program. Um, so probably not color code in that aspect. But you have no history. You have no history of drug use here. So um, I heard it's going to be no problems. And I heard things are about to go very, very, very well for you. So, um, so you know, that's great if that resonates for you. And I'm serious. But honestly, that's the way it, it sounds like it needs to go here because your family shouldn't have lied on you in the past. They should not have lied on you the way they did. And that's just the truth. Things are about to go very, very, very badly for your toxic family. Very badly. And very good for you through many positive series of chain events. Things are about to go very, very badly for you and your, uh, um, for your toxic family, sir, ma'am, for your toxic family and very um, good for you. So it sounds like the karmic wheel, one, the wheel's turning, the wheel of fortune's turning, it's turning. Whether you want it to turn, they want it to turn, or anybody wants it to turn, it's turning regardless. I feel you probably want it to turn. Um, and for some, I feel you need it to turn, not need it, but you want it to turn because there's a difference between wants and needs. I think you want it to turn. Um, and I, probably others want it to turn too. It's always healthy for the wheel to turn. When the wheel get the cog gets stuck in the wheel of fortune and it's stuck energy, that's never healthy for anybody. And that's just the truth. Um, we want the wheel to keep turning. And that's just the truth. Whether, whether it goes in your favor or not in your favor, you want it to keep turning. Um, it's just healthy for the universe. But how that resonates... Um, I heard it's about to go badly for your toxic family and good for you. So that is good. Um, good for you because they shouldn't have lied on you. They shouldn't have lied and they shouldn't have slandered and they shouldn't have said falsities about you. Um, that, uh, yeah, I'm serious. Let's pull one card and then I'm going to close this. I'm sorry. I've got that boy back here. He, I guess he likes the heat. He's... I snuggled around my butt. <laughs> and one of your toxic family members is about to overdose soon. It's about to shock the hell out of everybody. One of these people will pass away soon. And one of your toxic, okay, so it's at least two of you guys. One of you guys, your toxic family members about to overdose soon. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of everybody. In one of these situations, they will pass away. Um, so um, you plug it in, how it resonates. It sounds like for one, they're going to overdose and they won't pass away. So, but for one, they will and they will pass away. So you plug it in, how it resonates, um, whoever you are. Now, whatever they overdose on. Um, but I feel for a majority of these, it probably will be opioids and um, they might have to get Narcan. And I'm just being serious. Um, so I, I do think probably Narcan will be in play here. And anybody doesn't know, Narcan is basically the reversal for the, when you overdose on opioids, Narcan reverses you back. Um, um, I've seen it used before. And I have seen it, when I worked in jail, we had Narcan in the emergency box for the nurses. Um, now, I never had to use Narcan on anybody, but I was at work at the jail. I used to work at a local jail here years ago. Um, I was at work when somebody had to be Narcan. I was around um, with assistants, um, nursing assistants, assisting. Um, I wasn't the one that actually sprayed it at the nostril or nostrils, but um, I was there. 
Uh, and I have been around the medication Narcan because we had to account for it in the emergency box or bag. Well, it was a, it was a bag, emergency bag. But um, but anyway, so anybody didn't know, Narcan basically reverses. Uh, it helps. Well, it helps reverse. It, it's a spray and it goes up the nostrils. Um, for anybody doesn't know that, but. I heard one of you, one of your family members. So for one of you guys, um, they are about to um, they do they do some kind of drugs apparently, and they're about to overdose. Um, there's two situations here, but for one, they're going to pass away. So Narcan may be used on them if it's if it's op opioids. I feel for some of you guys, it probably is. Um, but for one, it sounds like it's gonna be too late, and they're gonna pass away. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. For one of them, I feel they might survive is what I'm trying to say. Because I heard for one, they will pass away. So for one, I think they're going to survive. Maybe somebody, if it is opioids, maybe they get the Narcan and they get through them in time. Maybe get to the hospital. Maybe somebody, ha uh, they're at a situation. Maybe maybe they're in jail. They overdose. Somebody, uh, nursing personnel or, or staff has the Narcan and they can go administer the Narcan. I mean, <clears throat> there's many different aspects um of where one could be when they overdose is what i'm trying to say i have seen overdoses in jails and that is just the truth yes you're not supposed to have drugs in jail um you're not supposed to have drugs anywhere but it happens um and that's just the truth spirit messages you have look like this But the very, very important spiritual message download in here is stay away from your toxic family, you guys. Please stay away if this resonates for you. Freedom. You cannot make this crap up even if you wanted to. Um, freedom. Number 13 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 13. I just heard air sign is what I just heard air sign. So, for, and, um, and it's, Okay, so I heard air sign. So I feel you could be an air sign that's gaining freedom from your toxic family, or you could have gained freedom from air sign, toxic air signs in your family. I feel it can go both ways because energies can be reversed. So you're either an air sign that Gemini Libra Aquarius that has gained freedom from your toxic family, or you have gained freedom from toxic air signs in your family. Um, that's the way I feel it can go. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And the Eagle Spirit and the Animal Spirit decks is air sign energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Just, um, I want to point that out too. And we have freedom. Number 13 can be a very significant number of one's life. Number 13. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 13. So freedom. Freedom from your toxic family. It's all in cards and the messages in here. But keep your freedom from your toxic family. Um, because they... They want to come set you up because they're under hot water. Um, and something for one of you guys, one person's about to pass away from some kind of drugs. I mean, so all this, all these years they were lying saying you did drugs, but in reality, <laughs> they do. And I feel for somebody to be an air sign or you could be an air sign. That's gang freedom. I mean, I'm serious. This is some shit. Let freedom ring, baby. Let freedom ring, baby, is what I just heard. Let freedom ring, baby. Let freedom ring. Well, absolutely. Let freedom ring. There are many, 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 many positive shocking series of chain events for the light side family member that's gained their freedom. They are going to become a multimillionaire soon. Good God, this is great. Holy crap. So I heard let freedom ring. So let freedom ring, um, which is beautiful. And I heard through many shocking series of chain events. For one of you guys, because there's several of you guys in here, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. One of you guys, through many shocking series of chain events, you're going to become a multimillionaire soon. So, yeah, that's what I'm, that is what I'm talking about, for real, for real. 
Now, whoever you are, though, you're not an addict. You're not an addict. So I don't think, you know, becoming a multimillionaire, I don't think you're going to spend all your money on drugs or prostitution because I heard you're not an addict. So I don't think you're a sex addict. I don't think you're a drug addict. I don't think you're alcoholic. I don't think there's there's not serious addictions there that's going to cause you to drain, um, spend all your money on women, your uh, drugs, alcohol, sex, drugs, alcohol, rock, well, maybe rock and roll, but not the addict part. That's what I'm saying. So that's good. That's good. Um, that's for one of you guys, though. There are several of you guys in here, but for many shocking series of chain events, one of you guys is going to become a multimillionaire soon. So you're not only going to have freedom from your toxic family, but it sounds like you're going to have financial freedom too with the freedom energy. Um, this is my favorite card in this deck for anybody who doesn't know. It really is my uh, my favorite card in this deck. It truly is. It really is. Not only because it's beautiful, but because just the whole card and everything about it is just my favorite card in this deck. And there's many beautiful cards in this deck. I mean, there just really are. There are. There's many beautiful cards, but this is my favorite out of this deck. It just really is. All right, well, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I hope this helps so much, and namaste.